my mom said to me, she said, how many people out there do you think have ever personally saved someone's life? And she said, you know, pulling them from a swimming pool when they're drowning or from a burning building or whatever. She said, who, how many people do you know that have actually saved someone's life? I said, wow, I, I can't even think of anybody off the top of my head. She says, do you know how many people you've already saved? Babies. Oh, my babies. Okay. You gonna go pee pee I now? think I said dog before I said daddy. And it kind of grew from there. My whole life was filled with dogs. I did a lot of things. Uh, actually titled my first dog when I was 10. And uh, went on to become a per licensed professional handler with the American Kennel Club. And did many other types of disciplines with dogs from obedience, confirmation, and so on and so forth. In my professional life, I also was uh, at executive level management of big box stores and so I was getting a little bit of both worlds, which I didn't know at the time were actually grooming me for what I'm doing today. I suddenly had people start coming to me that had disabilities, just by coincidence, and they had dogs that they just needed obedience training on. One of the neatest things that one of the veterans said to me, he had been coming several days to start getting to know his dog and working with his dog. It was finally the day it was for him to take his dog home. And I said to him, you know, you're going to be so excited. Just wait until, you know, you get home and you have your dog for a few days and you're going to see the tremendous difference. He says, no, ma'am. He said, the minute I stepped out of my car the first time, the difference in my life began. John Q. Citizen takes life for granted. Every day, when you can get up and put your feet on the floor and go about your Good normal job. business, you don't Good. think about the struggles that people with disabilities have. Sometimes um, when we get those phone calls, it's the very last phone call they ever intend to make because they're ready to end their life. They feel like there is nothing that they can do to change their desperate situation, but they're willing to try one last thing by calling us. And so, as to my knowledge, we have successfully talked them into coming in, seeing us, and uh, we end up pairing them with the dog. Somebody once asked me, of all the dogs you have, which one is your favorite? Now, I figure your house dogs are your favorite, but really, which one is your favorite? I said, really, I don't know, because which one is going to be Lassie pulling Timmy from the well? I said, every one of them have this amazing future ahead of them, and you don't know which one is going to actually save someone's life, because several of our dogs already have. Good job. So how do I pick a favorite when I don't even know what their future holds? In the beginning, we started with nothing. We, we, had, we didn't have two nickels to rub together, so I had to totally think outside the box to figure out how I was going to make a success of this organization. Because even though you can apply for grants and try to solicit donations and so forth, people sit back and they watch. You have to prove yourself before people start donating. Good. And that's the Good tough boy. part. At one of those low points, I had only paired oh, probably 15, 20 dogs. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to continue to drive this? I want to be able to pair dozens and dozens of dogs every year. I want to build this into an empire and help so many people. But, you know, maybe it's just not meant to be because it's so hard struggling in the beginning. My mom said to me, she said, if you never do another dog. You've already saved that many people. I said, you're right. And I persevered. And now we have about 150 teams out there working across the United States. Another 150 on our waiting list that we'll take care of and 40 more are calling every day. So uh, there's no quitting. There's no turning back. There's no giving up.